Hi there, I'm Craig Mertens, Director of Product Education for Inktavo, the parent company of SignTracker. When I was first asked to help train our customers on SignTracker, I had to learn the app too. And I was fortunate to have access to Joe Aranella, the founder, and he gave me a personal walkthrough that helped everything click for me. And just so you know, you have access to the same personalized training. You can sign up for Joe's live walkthrough webinars right from your SignTracker dashboard. There's also an archive of training videos and past webinars on the SignTracker YouTube channel, and you can access those through the dashboard as well. I put this video together because I realize many new users don't know where to start or how the pieces fit together. So I'm going to walk you through the basic workflow, setting up your account, creating an estimate, building tasks around it, and managing everything using the job flow board. Let's break it down into simple steps so you can follow along and get up and running. The first thing you want to do is access the account setup guide. You can do that from the dashboard. Just click on account setup guide. That'll take you to the help center article. You can scroll through all the different steps to get your sign tracker account set up and then make sure to click on the special words of encouragement video link. Next, I'm going to set up my company information. So I'm going to go to the setup drop down list. I'm going to click on settings. And then here's where I'm going to upload my logo and then any specific information about my shop. And then also I'm going to go over here to contracts. And then this is going to allow me to put a default title in for what my contracts are going to be called, in this case, sign bid, if I have any deposit information, any special terms. And then I can also use this slider here to change the size of the logo in my contract worksheet. Next, we're going to navigate over to task templates. What I would recommend is setting up a very simple task template for a product that you produce all the time, let's say a banner. And the way this works, I'm going to go over here and click on edit. This is all the tasks that you need to complete that banner. So you notice I have tasks like client approval, order materials, print banner, install banner, collect balance. Once you have these all set up, you'll click on save changes. And this is how you're going to assign tasks to your employees just by using one of these templates. Back at the dashboard, you can add a company. So just go over here and click on add company, add all their information. If you want to access your list of companies, you can just go down here to contacts and you'll have all your companies in here. And then also, if you click on the name of an actual company in here, you can add a contact. So you can have multiple contacts for the same company. You can also initiate a job for that company just by clicking on add job right directly from their company record. Before we can create an estimate, we need to set up our quoting. So I'm going to go to the setup drop down list. I'm going to select quoting. And you'll notice there's four different areas right here. One is for materials. This is where I can add and update all my material costs. Also, you have your labor rates. You can go in and edit all those as well. Also, formula items. A formula item is using a formula like a price break to calculate the pricing. And then you also have all your tax information. Now, I'm going to go over here to worksheet templates. I'm going to click on a template so you can see how that works. We'll just do this 4 by 8 banner. And this is where all of the data is being stored in order to generate your estimate. And you can easily go in here and edit the data fields. And when you're all done, just click on save and view. This is where you're going to create your library of products that you use to create your estimates. It's worth taking the time to set up the worksheet templates for your products because this is what's going to make estimating super fast. So now that I have my account set up, I can create a job. So I'm going to go over here to the shortcut add job. And I'm going to name my job. I can put in a description. I can select a client. All their information is going to be populated. I can add a new contact if there's a new person. And then what I want to do is select the type of job. Is it going to be a product or a service? I can assign a manager. I'm going to go ahead and assign Brooke here. And then I'm also going to assign a sales rep and I'll assign Joe. I'll go ahead and pick a due date. This is going to be a rush job, so I'm going to pick tomorrow. And then I can also put a job location in here if it's different from their ship too. So once I have that all set up, I'm just going to click on Submit. And that's going to drop me into the job. So think of a job as a digital filing cabinet. So everything to do with that job is in one place. So here's the job overview, any tasks that are assigned, any kind of notes that we want to assign to the job, any file attachments are uploaded here and are going to stay with the job, any contracts that are associated with that job, any quoting worksheets, any forms like if you had a site plan, and you also have access to a massive library of signed templates if you want to boost the professionalism of your quotes. What I want to do next is create an estimate. In order to do that, I'm going to click on Contracts. I'm going to click on New from Template. And I'm going to select that banner template that I previously set up. And you notice I have everything set up into categories. So here's my banner template. All the information for creating the estimate is populated. I have all my materials. I have my markup percentage for that. My labor rate. I have any kind of commissions and upcharges. Any kind of discounts that I might be applying. Any extra fees, like an art setup fee. 
my tax information can be entered here. Here's a little summary. And then I'm just going to click on save and add to add that contract to the job. So when I click on save and view, I can preview the quote worksheet. I can grab a customer link that I can include in an email that gives a browser-based version of this worksheet. I can also download a PDF file that I can attach to an email. I have the choice of showing itemization or not showing itemization. And then I can also print out a work order for my team. Back in the main job view, I can access the quote worksheets by clicking on quote worksheets. Here's a link to that worksheet. And then you'll also notice the completion date is at the top of the job and it's color coded. In this case, it's gold indicating it's due within 48 hours. You'll also notice that you have your different job stages right here. And I can move this job from opportunity down into pre-production. So this is also going to be updated on the job flow board. To assign the tasks associated with the worksheet, I'm just going to go over here and click on tasks. I'm going to go apply template and I'm going to apply the task template I set up for banners. I can pre-assign people to this template or I can also assign them as I go. So I'll just assign this over to Brooke. To return to the job flow board, I'm going to close out here and I'll land right directly on the job flow board. And you'll see this job is positioned on pre-production because that's the job stage I moved it into. I can click on the job flow board card and get instant access to the job, change any of the details if I need to, and then I can easily drag and drop to move jobs from one status to another. So I'll move it into production. The job flow board is color coded and fully customizable. I can determine what's displayed on each card. I also have the ability to set up different views. So if I just want a production view or a design view or maybe a sales view, I can set up custom views. These are tailored just to me. I can also filter by employee. So if I want to see everything that's going on for a specific employee, I can do that. Each job stage is represented in a column. This is completely customizable. So you set up the job stages based on the way your shop works. You can reorder columns, relabel columns, add columns, delete columns. It's fully customizable. The job flow board is where you're going to manage all the production stages for your job, but the calendar is your top down view. Think of this as your digital whiteboard. Everything's color coded. You can click into an activity, say a task, or if you want to click into an actual job itself, everything can be filtered so you can see just the information that you want. And then you also have different views, including a day view, a week view, and a month view. One last thing. If you go into the setup drop down list and select admin, this is where you can edit all your shop settings. This is where you can add employees and set up permissions. And this is where you'll set up your QuickBooks integration. So if you're using QuickBooks desktop or online, you can configure that to sync with your sign tracker. We have great videos on this in the YouTube channel, and we also have detailed information on that within your help center. So remember, you can always go back to your dashboard, click on help center here. And if you want to access the YouTube channel, you can simply click on training videos. And that's it. I just showed you how to set up your first job in Sign Tracker. You're now ready to quote, schedule, and deliver products like a real pro. Thanks for watching and welcome to the Sign Tracker community. Mm -hmm.